Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is riding a vehicle that you already saw on the channel. We went to Japan to test the brand new version of the Forester not that long ago. But now I'm sitting inside and with the competition, which is so aggressive, I think the Forester kind of age very fast. When you look at the interior, you still got those clusters, those plastic. Geez, it's still one of the most affordable SUV that you can get with all-wheel drive though. I really like also that all-wheel drive system because even if you're going like 120, it's still gonna be there, it doesn't disconnect. You've got X mode, yeah true but you don't have any more limited slip differential in the rear and the competition is bringing that back with some twin touch system but still when you're bragging that you have one of the best all-wheel drive on the market you need to push it a little bit further than just a regular x mode hmm i can't wait to see yes you asked for a roller test that's gonna have to be seen. Also, we're gonna test that and we're gonna see. But believe me, I still love Subaru. I still love that all-wheel drive system in the snow. Go check out that video that we did. I love to do some off-road with those machines. The suspension is so smooth. The space inside, it's huge and you can even put some stuff on the top. But is it gonna live up to its legend? Well, feel free to comment in the section down there below. Do a thumbs up, subscribe, because even if we already did a review about that Forester, New question, new answer. Let's go, guys. See ya.